Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, pretty much a cold forged uh, fish hook. Using just simple, uh, simple tools. Uh, it's not really hard to make these. Uh, it just takes a little practice. And it's one of those things that uh, it seems like the more I practice uh, doing, the better I got at it. Uh, I'm going to use a few simple tools to do this. I've got some uh, wire. I've got a couple of different sets of pliers, plus my multi-tool. Also going to be using this hammer, and possibly this little hammer. Also going to be cutting the wires with just some tin snips. You could also use uh, uh, needle nose pliers. The Leatherman will also cut them. Just using a Leatherman will cut. This right here will allow me to uh, get a better angle on the wire. Make a little bit sharper point. That's less work I have to do later. I'm also going to be using a torch. I'm going to heat treat these a little bit at the end. And I have a cup of water. Okay, first thing we want to do is just start, uh, get a little piece of wire. I like to generally make it a little longer than what I'm going to be making a hook. So I'm just going to snap off a little piece like this. Now you can take your, uh, right now and sharpen the end of the point. Take your cutters and sharpen it. That'll make it a little easier later when you actually want to sharpen them because you can take a file or a hook sharpener and actually sharpen these up pretty sharp. Okay, I'm just going to start with a basic bend. I'm going to take this back and just create kind of the hook shape. I'm going to make this one kind of small. So I really don't want to uh, uh, have a big U shape in the bottom. Okay. Also, forgot to mention, guys, this is an anvil. You don't need an anvil. You can actually, uh, when it comes time to pounding, you can use two hammers. Uh, you can pound like directly on the point of the hammer. Use that like an anvil. Okay, once we get our hook shaped up a little bit, I'm going to create the loop up on the shank by just rolling it around my pliers. I want to get this pretty tight. Going to be using uh, natural cordage on this so I do want to leave enough room to, uh, to actually tie into this. So I just kind of made a loop. And I want to take my uh, my cutters and cut that off kind of flush where it meets the other side just like that and I'm going to uh, take my multi-tool flatten that out a little bit and move it up just a hair where I got this shape now now we can go back and shape the hook a little bit more. I like pulling that eye back a little bit. Gives a little bit more room for the fish to get that in his mouth. I 
Now these are barbless. Okay. This is what I'm going to basically have right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work on it a little bit with a hammer. And just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Back where this U shape is, I'm going to flatten this back just a hair. Okay. Now it's more flat. I'm going to go ahead and fire the torch. I'm going to take my multi-tool and just kind of clip in. And I'm going to heat this up a little bit. You'll be able to see by the color. That will harden the hook a little, make it not as uh, bendable. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the eye, and the shaft. And there we have it. Ready to roll. Made it a lot harder. It's a lot harder to bend now just by heating it and cooling it. Uh, I'll show you some of the ones I've made. Uh, let me put something down so you can actually see them better against this anvil. These are some of the ones that I've made the last couple of days. Really like this one right here. It's one of the last ones I made last night. And I did sharpen that point. Now you can do some neat things when you get these hooks like this. Uh, created a few little flies using those hooks. All natural material. It's a lot of fun making them actually. Uh, something I like. I like to use the color red a lot because fish attract to that, uh, like blood. So uh, use a little bit of red. This is uh, red wool. So uh, I started kind of like naming my little uh, flies last night as I was doing it. Yeah, call me bored. I called this one my uh, gobbler bobber because it's a uh, kind of looks like a turkey a little bit. And it's got a turkey feather. Called this one my cutthroat. And I called this one my woolly booger. 
<laughs> it's wool and uh, uh, turkey feather. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial there on uh, building uh, uh, fish hooks, like uh, frontier style fish hooks. Uh, it's a lot of fun, pretty easy to do. It's a common man thing. Uh, you don't have to have a forge to do this. Um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I really appreciate you viewing. I really appreciate your support. And I appreciate your uh, comments, feedback, anything, any suggestions you have. Uh, please comment. Uh, hope to see you guys in the woods. Thanks.